Hello and welcome to our Delayed Mindful Monday, which I am calling Mindful Minutes, and our Breathwork Basic Series. We had uh, Memorial Day two, weekend, two weeks ago, and I have been battling a sinus infection the last two weeks, hence the nasally sound of my voice, and that makes it kind of hard to breathe. So we did not do it yesterday, but I'm feeling like human again today. Um, and I wanted to get through this technique because I think that it's a very good technique. I think that it's a simple technique that people can use and implement um, to help with stress management and anxiety relief and recentering and refocusing yourself. So again, this breath work is important because it's something that we can use to recenter ourselves and refocus ourselves literally anywhere at any time. We breathe all day long and focusing in on that breath and utilizing certain patterns or techniques can help us tap into these things that help with the stress management, which is extremely important. In this day and age when we are always turned on, switched on, brain is always on, which causes that stress, it causes insomnia, which also then lead to chronic conditions, elevated blood pressure, elevated glucose. And so it's extremely important that we are addressing this elephant in the room, we think that stress does not affect us in the manner that it does, and it really, really does. So we are going to look at box breathing today. And so this is also known as four square breathing, or it's sometimes called resetting your breath. Uh, it's extremely easy to learn, and it can be a highly effective technique for people to utilize when they feel like they are in a very stressful situation. It's also a great technique to use if you have a high stress job, like a nurse or a soldier or a police officer um, when your body is kicked into that fight or flight mode constantly and it's always switched on this can be utilized to help turn that off and it's also really good again just for anyone who's looking to kind of refocus recenter bring their concentration um, back into focus maybe during the long work day or you're a parent and you're working from home or whatever it might be it's a great technique for that as always, it can be done anywhere. It can be done at home. It can be done at your desk. It can be done, well, in the car, but not while driving. Don't do it while driving. Um, and as always, you know, you want to make sure that you get in a comfortable position. If you're sitting in a chair, feet flat on the floor in a erect but comfortable position, you could also do it sitting on the floor in like a lotus position. You could do it lying down, whatever you feel is most comfortable for you. And as always, if at any point you feel like you are lightheaded or dizzy or uncomfortable, then stop the breathing technique and just resume your normal breathing. And if it persists after that, definitely go see a doctor. Um, so to get started, again, settle into that comfortable position wherever you may be, whether that's in a chair or on a meditation cushion, and go ahead and just gently flutter those eyes closed or find a spot to kind of stare at unfocused. Just take a couple of breaths normally. You're gonna do everything through your nose today. So go ahead and breathe in through your nose while counting to four slowly. Feeling the breath and the air enter your lungs and then hold your breath while counting slowly to four. Try not to clamp your mouth or nose shut and simply just avoid inhaling or exhaling. And then begin to slowly exhale for four seconds. And repeat one to three times at least.
ideally doing this breathing pattern for longer is better. And a good rule of thumb is to think, you know, you're breathing, you're inhaling for four, you're holding for four, you're exhaling for four. And if you can do this breathing technique for four minutes, it might be the most beneficial use um, or until you feel calm. So that could definitely be before or maybe even longer. But again, make sure that you're not feeling any um, dizziness or lightheadedness. Definitely stop doing the breathing technique if you do feel that. Um, if you find it challenging to breathe in, hold your breath, and exhale for a count of four, you might want to start with a count of three and work your way up till that four. And if you feel like the four has been that four count breath has been mastered, you might actually want to extend your breathing to more of a five or a six count technique. Um, but that's entirely up to you and what you feel comfortable with once you feel like you've mastered the four breath, um, four count breath. So next week, we are going to be doing another a breathing technique, of course. Um, we have three more techniques, and then we will be moving into a mindful meditation practice again, um, starting in July. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you have a wonderful, mindful Tuesday, and we'll see you next week on Breathwork Basics.